Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everyone's doing great. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'm going to be showing you all the electric sanders that I've personally used, starting off with the potter cable. You can see how awkward it is to sand overhead. In this 10-foot ceiling, you have to take about five-minute breaks because it just it's painful after five minutes of holding the potter cable overhead. And it, it does pretty good with the dust collection, but it's just so uncomfortable to use that we don't use it at all anymore. But any overhead, you need to pretty much be up there. So you need stilts. The giraffe was a little bit easier in the sense of holding it because of the end handle, but the angle still needed to be similar to the potter cable. Here we're sanding popcorn ceilings. And you can see that the top part, I still needed to be up there on a platform. And it was still kind of awkward and heavy. The festival was the easiest out of the three. Notice how the angle is a little bit better, a little bit more natural and comfortable. Here we're sanding down some stomp ceilings, getting ready for skimming. But it still, it still wasn't natural it, the positioning still felt a little awkward since you had to hold it at an angle and last but not least the miracleros which is what we're pretty much going to be using from now on it can get into the corners easily here i'm not using a vacuum because i'm just brushing down but notice how easy the head just moves side to side it's a more natural motion so it tires you out way less even though it is a little bit heavier than a pole sander which what you would traditionally use. Notice how I can just hold it straight above my head, making it way easier to maneuver and just a lot easier on your body as you use it throughout the day. It just glides over the drywall. Sanding, getting ready for texture. As you can see, it's pretty heavy, but we still like to leave everything nice. Started everything off with a festool since this is an existing room. We didn't want to get it too dusty. Check that, but the good thing about this as I was sanding, I checked this out. You can see how crazy that looks. So I'm going to have to touch that up. I either can mark it or... I can leave my pole there. Get my pan, touch it up. Another good thing that we did with the CNS sander is... I need the battery external, powered by a power bank. Pick this up at Home Depot. That's pretty cool. You can touch it up. Once you're done sanding, you can have a sanding party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>